makes a heck of a difference when you have guys that have been through your program. Uh, we got five guys back that were with us last year. Uh, so the, you know, I think with the two Groves brothers, Jalen Hill, B. John Cortez, and C.J. Nolan, um, we got some guys back that, that makes all the difference in the world when you bring in your newcomers. So um, I thought they, these guys had a, like we're all, hope we had a great off season, um, went to Europe, but um, those five guys were, were, were definitely uh, helps when you're trying to get to year two and, and move forward. Okay, raise your hand and let uh, Rachel and Christopher find you and make sure and share with us your name and your affiliation. Got a question over here on the third row on the left-hand side, Coach. Joe Helmer, OUinsider.com. Porter, you mentioned that uh, returning core. Just from an install standpoint, foundational-wise, how different has this year been for you? And just from everything, like when you, when you get there, you know, we were in a pandemic, so <clears throat> I, I was meeting them for the first time in June, like the recruiting class. We had to sign everybody through June. So um, just the difference of when they get there, just everything from our first practice to having five guys that have a familiarity with what we do and how we do it. And and not only did you have guys that did it, the, the, it was the who. I mean, Jalen Hill and Tanner, um, just really, really good leaders, you know, vocally and with their with their work ethic. And, um, you know, it's, it's, I know Coach Tang is going through it right now, having to bring in 11 and, and go through it and just establishing those things that he does. And it's, it's, it's a unique experience um, this day and age with, with the transfer portal, with having to have so many new guys. But I, I, I couldn't be happier with the five guys, um, how they embraced and held accountable themselves and the newcomers right when they got to the campus. Got one over here to your left, Coach, on the third row. Uh, Sam Lance with the Zagsblog.com. I also kind of want to ask you about the transfer portal. Just overall, what are your thoughts on how it has functioned to this point, and what's your opinion on players transferring within the same conference? I think it was six that transferred within the Big 12 this year. You know, my first thoughts on the transfer portal is, is it's, a, it's a reality. Um, I think you have, to, uh, you have to balance it with your program. Um, I, I think for me, I was, I was really, I, I signed some high school guys that I really liked, and we added some transfer portal pieces. So it's a reality. It's here. Um, but I think you got to have a balance with it, and you still have to try to recruit to who you are and what, you, you know, your style, your who you are um transferring in conference you know it, it, it's it, that also is a reality it's happening you know with it and um i guess i don't have too many thoughts against it or for it um you know if the young man doesn't want to be in a program you know then he doesn't want to be in a program um and uh i just think that's whether it's interconference or not i think it's a reality and we're we're, we're having to just adjust with it and deal with it one in the middle on the back row. Uh, Kendall Couch, Sikkim 365. Porter, you all had a really good end of the regular season then beat Baylor in the Big 12 tournament. What was going well for you all to finish the campaign? You know, just I, I felt we were getting better. I thought um, we had, um, you know, we had an injury with Elijah Harkless and Jacob Groves came in. And I thought Jacob played really solid um, down the stretch. And I think that's, we've talked about that a lot in the off season. I think Jacob's grown. I think he's bigger than his brother now. He's, he's at least 6'9", but that, that confidence boost at the end of the year um, that he got, you know, I think that's really propelling him this offseason. Um, and just like anything, you know, we were chasing it. We were, we were, we were trying to get better. Um, I thought we were doing some better things offensively towards the end of the year. Um, but, um, you know, I think that's something that, um, I think Jacob really played well in, in his time um, with with that down the stretch. Any more questions? Okay, coach, you're gonna have one over to your left on the third row. Sam Lance with Zags Blogs again. Uh, what have you just seen from Grant Sherfield so far? 
You know, this league is, um, as we all know, is, is so incredible defensively. You know, every game is just, just, they just lock you up. And the one thing you found is you got to have some guys that can make some shots. You need some shot makers. And, and Grant's, Grant's a very good shot maker. He can score at all three levels. He can get to the rim. He's got an elite mid-range, and he can shoot the three. And, but he's also really good off ball screens. Analytically, he's one of the top guys off ball screens. He, he had six assists a game at Nevada. Um, but I think he brings a, um, a guy that can make shots. You know, you, coaches kind of call them shot clock guys. You know, they take the, the defenses takes away what you're trying to do, and then you got to go sometimes create something out of nothing and start the domino in a rotation. And Grant can start that domino. He can he can he can knock down a shot at the end of a shot clock. We struggled in those areas last year. We really did. We struggled at um, we've had you know really having a guy just go get one for us at times. And um, I think the really really good teams ha all had a shot clock guy, and I think he's one of those kind of guys for us. Any other questions, Coach? Not seeing any, Coach, so thank you very much. Thank you for no beard questions. <laughs> Getting that all day. Thank you. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.